Hello and welcome students monitor service health and analyze reports on practice labs and here in this video we are going to explain and show you how to monitor the service health and how you can create and analyze reports on your office 365 portal and how you can just make your grip on each and every usage you know the the resources that you bought on the portal on your office 365 environment so all you can easily catch up during this video and we already created a document that i'm going to show you right now and the purpose of this document to provide you the clear and point to point steps along with the screenshots so with the help of those screenshots and the instructions you can easily replicate all the stuff that you're going to watch during the video so take a look to the document and this document will be provided you by JSS and here you can see that we have created and we mention all the steps along with the screenshots and identified and mention all those important parts within the screenshots that you should consider and here you can see that this brief document will help you to replicate all the same steps on your own lab and right now in this video we're going to use the portal access from the local browser here I'm not going to use the practice labs because as for this video we don't need to download any office product into the machine because whenever this thing comes you know what that whenever you need to download any office if I pour product into the into your machine so you will use the practice labs for that so similarly we're going to do that that here we are not going to download any product in our practice labs machines and there's no need to do things with the product with the office is web product suit so that's why we're going to use the browser to access the office is web portal so let's move to the office is web portal now here's we have the portal and once you get login just hover your mouse on the left top corner and click to the app launcher and select admin and once you open the admin portal it will show you some different options and customization that you can make within your portal within your organization domain and here on the left you have the navigation menu so we're going to click here and here let's click to show all so here you can see there are a wide range of options for customizing for monitoring for creating your own environment your own experience and here let's click to the health and select the service health and here on the service health if you scroll down so you're gonna find that there are different options so here to check the previous logs and status of your portal of your domain so definitely you're going to click to the history and it will show you the previous messages previous notifications so here you can see you have this one log you could say this this is specific history admin may only be able to see the message sender so this is the upgrade and this is the update and you can check out the type of this notification and this is what the advisory to the admin so here's the status the service is restore the issue origin is Microsoft so it is also providing you the details of the vendor and here's the ID and it shows the past seven days so you can make it to 30 days and see the previous notifications and advisories and all that stuff and here you can see we have few more logs and notification like user may not have been able to access the security and compliance center why because this is a trial account and I guess the license is going to expire so after that you will getting these sort of notifications on the service health on the history and here you have few more like admin may enable to view the expected information within the health section of the office if you have why we are getting these restrictions because our license has been expired so definitely you you guys are also using the trial account so you will get those messages likely after the expiration of your license so this is the way you can find out the history and if you 
want to just check the advisories so you can click to the advisories similarly you have the incident tab you can click here to find out any incident that may happen within your domain also that you have reported issues and there is no tracking of the last 30 days there's no tracking of such issues and if you want to see all services so you can switch to the all services tab and here you also have few advisories here that are mentioned in that way and here by switching the tab to the advisory you will find out those advisories in the list view so that's how you can deal to the service health and find out the exact health the service health that is required or you provide it or you've been restricted to get access by this whole service health section and this all this history tab now if you open the app navigation menu again and expand the reports so you're going to find the usage option section so when you click to the usage section it will give you this detail but here it shows that there are there is no report for the past 30 days and you can make it to 180 if you haven't find any date and right now it says the reports are not available for the services you're subscribed to so the services the type of trial license we're using that doesn't contain the reports but definitely once you have the proper license the premium license of the office 35 portal so you will get the reports here on this usage section well as you can see here you don't have reports and it says that you are not subscribed to this report package or your your service is not providing you the reports right now so for that uh, i log in to my premium account to show you how these reports and this usage works so let me switch to the incognito tab where i log in to my premium account to just show you just to make you a little experience that how these this usage section will provide you the data through you can analyze the usage of your products your resources now here take a look this is a premium account and under the usage you have this active user section that contain the past 30 days activity but if I make it to 180 so here it shows us that I use the OneDrive and the Office 365 and then there's nil because after that I didn't use and it says that there is one active user and there's an Outlook activity in the Word and here the OneDrive and little SharePoint activity and little one user you know the one user is using this SharePoint thing and here it shows a two file store because I I use the OneDrive for storing some files for for some documents and manuals here on this Office 365 my premium portal so here it shows the exact number of files the activations you can see that how many desktop I activated with this office 35 portal accounts it shows here so if you if you say that it gives you a pretty much analyze and a pretty much summary of the utilization of the resources on the office 365 so here it shows it shows one users on the Microsoft Edge, and there you go. Because I I change the days past history to 180, that's why I'm getting these reports, these details. Because last 30 days or seven days, I didn't use this premium account. That's why I have no data here. But here it it shows the total number of files that has been in store here on this Office 365 premium account. So that's how this usage part works. And now let's move to the next one. So here you can also notice that we didn't use, we didn't send any email or receive email here on this premium account. So I guess we can have the data on our trial account because I have did some lab on those labs. I performed this email activity and show you how the wrong emails could be tracked on the Office 65 portal and how you can analyze through the Office 365 tools. So right now we don't have any email activity. That's why it is nil and doesn't contain any detail. 
because there is no activity recorded. Now to specifically tracking the email activity you have another way and that's what the exchange. So here I return back to the trial account because I did some email activity on my trial account I remember. So let's open the exchange option from the trial account and let's see on this section what sort of details and history it kept and how we can analyze and monitor our resource utilization and what's going on within the domain so here it, you can see that it is initializing the exchange portal so when you see the exchange portal you will find out the user accounts that it will start showing so you can click on the specific user to explore that user or you can apply some options and restrictions and customize their experience of office 65 exchange so here if you click to the mail flow and you have so many options here the alert the message trace the rules so if you go to the message trace you have these sort of options and here you can create this trace and we, we discussed this thing in the previous video that that's related to the exchange part and we already show you how you can trace your emails your spams within this portal exchange environment but the reason I click to the mail flow is to show you that it contains the logs and the details but here on the exchange you have the, this part called the report and if you select the mail flow so you will see these sort of options and it contain the description so after reading the description you can make the decision that what you really need so let's say for example if you go to the inbound message reports that what sort of message reports you have within your domain within your environment so here it's, it contains the seven days data but if you change to 90 days so definitely it will collect some but right now this whole email and this whole domain is a trial account so we are not using internally or externally this this trial account that's why it doesn't contain any data but definitely when you are working in a live environment in a professional environment so you will find out the logs the details the messages here related to the exchange here in the main mail flow and you can change the history to the past 90 or 30 or 7 days or you can customize the date here by using this option and at last for for those who are having troubles and want to fix things with the with the product support so here you have the option on the left under this navigation menu you can expand the support option here and if you want to view the service request you can click to view the service request and right now you haven't raised any ticket here that's why you able to see any previous request that you made and its progress so if you want to make a new ticket so you can click to the new service request and right now here you can see how we can help and the example is can install office so you can type here whatever the problem you are having with the office and it will show you some suggestion you can also go with the suggestion that is provided here in the options or you can type your problem on your own that what you are experiencing and what sort of issues you're having so this is the way you will get the support from the office 65 team and and the whole entire department that is working day and night to make the product better for the user for the customers so this is the way you can monitor you can analyze your office 65 domain environment and how you can keep track on each and every resources and their utilization and the, this usage section is really helpful to track the process the progress and the usage the utilization the number of user and which product is being used a lot so you can keep track all those things through the usage section so that's all we have in this video